Well, maybe I'll just start with uh, 700 tonight, if we could. Um, you know, uh, the, the journey, I'm sure it, it kind of feels like, I mean, maybe it, may I'll ask you, does it feel like it's, you know, gone by real fast? Yeah, it's, I mean, I'm sure for everyone, it's kind of like that, you know, it goes by. I think you got to, you know, enjoy it while, while it's there. You know, it's nice to play in the NHL and, you know, best sport in the world in, in my mind. And, you know, just enjoy every moment of it. So, pretty cool 700 and no way to 1,000. So. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, maybe just a thought on, on tonight and kind of a unique you know, schedule, the fact that it's two games here in San Jose, but just the importance of it for you guys here tonight. Yeah, it's, I mean, we got to get back on, you know, before Christmas. I think it's important for us to, you know, go get some points and get back, you know, into the into a playoff spot. So I think that's what we want to do. And I think, yeah, you know, it starts tonight and it's a huge road trip, you know, four games. Like you said, you know, we're going to be in San Jose, so there's no travel. So, you know, start with a big win. Now we can, you know, enjoy tomorrow and kind of get back for a second game. Jonathan, why is Christmas is such an important point to be in a playoff spot for your group? It's good. I think, you know, you, you feel good about yourself, about the team and, you know, going into Christmas. I mean, it's fun. You're with family. So it's it's always good when you're, you know, with your family and you know you're in, in a good spot, you know, in, in the standing. Maybe just when you talk about San Jose, obviously getting back to back here, you'll get to know them a little bit more. But just about what you got, and maybe it's more about your group than anything. But you know, what are you focused mostly on here tonight from your standpoint? Yeah, the, it's always tough to play in this building. So, I mean, for for us, it's to you know get a good start. I think we haven't had that in the walls. I think take the lead and play with the lead. You know, the whole game. So we're gonna try to do like you said. They're on a back to back. You know, St. Louis. You know, they, they, we didn't take advantage of that at home. They were in a back-to-back. So I think here we got to, you know, take advantage. Have a good start. And I think, you know, obviously they travel too. So, you know, just focus on our game and play well, play in their zone. And I think it's important for us to take the lead. There's a rumor floating around that you needed France to win, to win the World Yeah, Cup yeah. <laughs> yeah, I stuck with the Frenchies and uh, it di- didn't work. But uh, that was pretty cool. I mean, I woke up, it was like 2 nothing. so Argentina. So I was like, ah, I'm not going to win. But uh, James won, so a trainer, so he deserves it. Is he okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> as a sport, as a sports enthusiast, though, to see the way that that played out, what, uh, what were you thinking? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Actually, the, you know, penalty kicks and... That's what I was like telling the guys. They should go Messi and Mbappe. Just, just these two in the, in the penalty case over and over. Might and still be going it's, on. Yeah, I know. I know. That's what this, the guy said. But uh, that was cool. And I, I kind of wanted Messi to win too. You know, at his age, and Mbappe is younger, so he's gonna have more chances. And you no, know, Messi he had a great, great tournament. So it was uh, cool to see that, and cool to see him uh, lift the trophy.